I wrote the cringiest essay ever. Let me tell you about it. Freshman year, Florida A&M University. I don't remember what it is. We have to take some tests. I don't even know what, 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 what's the name of the test. I don't recall having to take it in Texas. I finished college in Texas and I've had friends that went to school too and I didn't know they had to take it. Don't matter. There was a test that we had to take freshman year in college and part of it was you were given a subject to take to write an essay on. You didn't know what ahead of time what the subject was going to be. And the subject I got was Talk about a trend. A trend. Okay. I sat there playing around with it in my mind. I'm like, sneakers. I just came from New York. Well, not just. The summer before starting freshman year, my brother and I had gone on a trip to New York City and I'd gotten some cool sneakers. Nobody else had those. Some Diodoras. So cool. So colorful. Gorgeous sneakers. If you know anything about Diodorus, maybe I could have had a picture of one put up, but we we not like that. Y'all go Google it. Put, throw me a picture of Diodora somewhere. I had these Diodora sneakers, and I decided I was going to talk about the sneaker trend. And <laughs> this is how my essay went. Sneakers are cool. Sneakers by the pool. Sneakers will make you drool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It it might as well have said that. It really said that, but it might as well. It was just that juvenile. My sentences were noun, like subject, adjective, what is the subject, verb, and then adjective. That's it. Three words just about, I was writing an essay like I was in the third grade. I don't know if it was nerves or it was performance anxiety. I mean, I'm not, I didn't consider myself to be any major essay writer. I was better than sneakers are cool. Sneakers by the pool though. I definitely was. And of course y'all, you know, you know the outcome. Your girl straight up failed that exam. And then I had to take some remediation (laughs) the next year. That one was a fiasco. I have to tell, share that because that's the the following semester where I was depressed and I failed a bunch of my classes. We'll talk about that another time. But my sneakers are cool. Sneakers by the pool. Sneakers make you drool. Poem did not go ever over well. It was horrible. Listen, learn how to write a good creative sentence. And from then you can build to amazing essays that really describe what it is that you're feeling. Learn to be a good writer. I know right now people don't write letters, everything. You can go chat GPT and all that. But listen, when you know how to write well, you can be a better communicator. And communicators they got you know they got a little je ne sais quoi. like what's up if you're a guy you're you're a wisdom teeth and you're a boy and you know how to communicate ladies like that if you're wisdom teeth and a girl guys like that it's it looks good and you're able to get a job you're able to talk to people learn how to write well it'll help you with your communication It'll help you to seem interesting when you learn how to write well. I mean, we're not talking Pulitzer Prize, but come on. Sneakers are pool. Sneakers are cool. Sneakers make you drool. Don't be like Dr. T. Nice. And you know what? If all else fails, you will not fail. Learn how to write well, and it's less likely that you're going to fail on a test because if you can write well, chances are you can read well. Don't be like Dr. D. Nice. I mean, I learned. I did learn. (laughs) And then there is stupidness. You are stuck on cat in the hat essays, ways of communicating on paper or on iPad or on screen. You're stuck on that. 
And no, instead of pushing yourself to go a little further, nobody's saying you got to be Pulitzer Prize. Somewhere in the middle will be good. Cat in the hat, Pulitzer Prize, somewhere in there. <laughs> well, there you have it. Wisdom, stiffness, choose wisdom. Remember, show me your brightest, show me your best, show me the latest guru. God's wisdom lets theirs look like stupidness. <laughs> We're done. We made it through. What y'all think? You know, I've been trying to put up, go live every day.